These are the ambitions of a six year old. Learning things about a father that I didn't know. Fast forward now, I'm feeling like I'm getting old. Cause my peers love to party while I sit at home. I can only be myself when I sit alone. Write a song now, I'm back feeling like before. I can always get a job and clock and write it for. But that ain't gonna get my mama that new Michael Kors. Yeah, my mother birthed me in October. This was 96 and then the oxygen stopped flowing. Could have died in the hospital. Uh, I'm Sam Richardson. I'm the brewmaster and co-founder of Other Half Brewing. The name Other Half comes from uh, the idea of brewers' position in the industry. And, but in the beer world, craft brewers have always been a very small sliver of beer sales. And that's been changing pretty rapidly with time. For me, it just it signifies kind of where we want to go with craft beer. We want to be the other half of the industry, not, not a marginalized group. I'm Matt Monahan. I am the uh, other co-founder in our own beer. I think we're definitely always looking for, for balance. You know, you can't have a super hoppy beer without having the rest of that recipe making sense in your mouth when you drink it. You know, the craftsmanship needs to be evident. It can't just be, you know, super, super acidic or super tart. The same way the hoppy beer can't just be really hoppy. It's got to be well crafted. When we started, we had a canning run. It was one beer. We had close to 300 cases and we sold, we sold through about half of it. And that was kind of our, you know, first foray into All the day long. sales. Yeah. And then it's just kind of snowballed from there. IPA is a, IPA is a style of beer that is very hop driven. You know, originally it was designed to be shipped long distances by the British, um, most notably to India. This is actually our fourth collaboration with Trillium. We've done two in, two in Boston and two in New York now. Say one of the, the main reason we picked Brooklyn was because we live here. I actually, I moved here from the West Coast originally, so I've been here for coming up on a decade. And when I first moved here, there were four breweries in the entirety of New York City. Here, I don't think people really realize how, if you're not a New Yorker, you don't realize how great the water is here. Most of our water comes directly from the Catskills. For brewing, it's just totally malle malleable. There are some special things I think about about this beer. Pink label, for sure. Well, the pink label is pretty special, but also there's there's a, there's quite a few hop varieties in here that are that are harder to get. And then we also are using a new product called lupulin powder, which is really it's it's hops with all of the unnecessary material stripped away. Can can release days can release days are crazy. Candle release days are full of energy, um, full of excited people, some of which have waited hours and, and hours to, to get you know something that we make, um, which is pretty awesome. A lot of times we're releasing beers that we've never made before uh, or have only made once before in cans to a very, very particular crowd. So you know, we've, we're, we're continually learning, trying to improve and how, how to make those days run smoother and smoother. but. You know, the vibe on those days is, is fantastic. I mean, the, the energy is just, it's, it's great, it's contagious. So a week and a half ago, I put this up on Facebook. Um, I was amazed that, that the line was as long as it was. There were chairs out, lawn chairs out. At about a quarter mile ago, 400 people, and two corners to go around. Just hoping to get some beer. It was a really good experience, because the beer was absolutely delicious. People come week in and week out to buy these cans and buy our beer and they trade them. Uh, a ton of this stuff gets traded. It's, it speaks volumes about about the scene and about the health, how healthy this, this uh, our little niche in this industry is. What's next for other half? So it'll be a larger variety of stuff coming coming for our customers, uh, you know, and and uh, more labels, more cans, you know, different beers, more often. Um, that's what we're going for. I think we'll see. I think we're going to see a lot more interest in craft beer in New York, and I think that people are really excited about finally having access to more 
uh, more local beer. 